sunshine in the forecast this week, which means it's important to protect your skin from the sun. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith is live in Columbia at Hampton Park with a look at the best way to enjoy the sunshine safely. Corey. Hey, Darcy, yeah, just some absolutely gorgeous weather outside recently, and that means a lot of sunshine, but believe it or not, our sun angle, so where the sun is in the sky, is right around where it would be in August 25th, so the summer. So it doesn't take very long to get a sunburn. Let's talk about the reason why. The weather is getting nicer and nicer, which means you will want to spend some time outside. It is becoming more important each day to protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays if you do. Our sun lets out many forms of solar radiation, infrared, visible light, and ultraviolet are just a few. These higher energy waves, also called UV, have smaller wavelengths which allow them to travel through solids, which can end up causing damage. When the sun's light becomes more direct this time of the year, these UV rays will penetrate the skin and damage the cells. This typically will result in sunburn, but prolonged exposure could lead to skin cancer. That's why it's so important to wear sunscreen. This provides a physical barrier that reflects or absorbs these UV rays, which protects the many layers in your skin. Let's talk about when you need this protection, though. We use the UV index to forecast how much ultraviolet radiation will be present in a day. Once the UV index hits anything higher than a 3 or 4, it is recommended that you use sunscreen when going out. Wednesday, the UV index in the Midlands looks to be around a 9, or the high category. That means without the correct protection, fair skin can burn in as little as 15 minutes. So it's important to remember that getting a sunburn isn't directly tied with the temperature. It's actually along with the sun angle and the cloudiness. So that means as you get closer to the summer solstice, those burn times are going to go down every single day, which is important to keep in mind. From Columbia, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. All right, now that we have learned a little more from Corey on how the sun rays work, let's talk a little bit about how to use this stuff, right? How to use the sunscreen to protect your skin. So here are some of the best practices for when you should apply sunscreen. Well, first, the FDA recommends that you wear sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher, though 30 is the magic number. That's ideal. If anything is beyond 30 SPF, 50 makes a little difference in the terms of the risk of sun damage, uh, but that's not all you should be looking for when you are choosing a sunscreen. Also, you want to make sure to buy a sunscreen that says broad spectrum. Now that is not only going to protect against sunburn, but it also reduces the risk of skin cancer and early aging. If it doesn't say broad spectrum, then it is only protecting against a sunburn. So very important to look for that wording. And then finally, you need to reapply sunscreen every two hours more often if you're swimming or you're sweating or you're getting in and out of the pool. If you don't have much hair, you might want to put a little sunscreen up there too. Don't forget, man, about the bald spot or just put on a hat and cover it. And also one more tip, sunscreen expires.